What's up, fuckers? It's tea time. Some say Texas will end in fire. Some say in ice. But from what I've tasted of Greg's greed and desire, I hold with those who favor fire. Because it's hotter than Ted Cruz's hairy ass crack in an attic in August and our power grid is about as useful as a celibate prostitute. I'm not even allowed to put my damn air conditioner on anything below 78 right now. Some of y'all are probably out there with your AC set on Arctic Tundra thinking, aren't Texans used to heat? Yes, Popsicle Patty, we are. I'm not, however, used to having the agency that runs the Texas power grid, ERCOT, being balls deep in my thermostat. Greedy Greg and his pals are making millions off power grid deregulation, and I'm stuck out here playing Little House on the fucking prairie. Let me just take a moment and review with you what ERCOT, the Electric Reliability Council of Texas, is telling Texans to do. Set your thermostat to 78 degrees when you're awake at home, 82 degrees when you're asleep at home, and 85 degrees when you're not home. If you're not using something at your house, turn it off and unplug it. Turn off lights and pool pumps, all right? Avoid using large appliances like ovens, washing machines, and dryers. Sounds like I'm going to have to grab my damn clothespins because the spring meadow scent won't be coming from my damn dryer sheets this week, will it, Greg? The dryer I'll be using is the fucking blister and breeze here in Abbott's Inferno. Hungry? Don't touch your oven. Go on and grab you an iron cauldron to hang over an open flame in your fireplace. It'll make the house even hotter, but we'll be able to make some fucking Texas colonial porridge to accompany our new pioneer lifestyle, huh? Red voters, are y'all having a good time? I'm a little heated if you aren't catching my drift out here in Satan's butthole. In February, Texans learned two things. One, Jack Frost doesn't know the meaning of consent. And two, Greg Abbott chose to let an inadequate power grid be run exclusively by Texans to avoid regulation so they could put profits over people as per usual. Back then, we were wishing for heat and heavens to fucking Betsy did we get it. I've currently got a case of the Texas testes. I'm damn near waterlogged from all the perspiration in my pioneer panties. I'm sweating like an ice water pitcher on a 4th of July picnic table. I'm getting branded by the fucking seat belts in my oven temperature vehicle, and the air outside continuously feels like a toasty fart. But in our defense, we only wanted the heat when hundreds of Texans died during the February freeze and the power blackout. They froze to death, died when there was no power to run the machines they needed to stay alive, or they died because they brought gas grills inside their homes in a desperate attempt to keep warm, and their homes filled with deadly gas. And it wasn't just people who suffered. Texas animals suffered too. Many were found outside in freezing temperatures, some alive, most dead. On average, the Houston Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals gets about 25 to 30 calls a day reporting animal cruelty. But when Jack Frost unleashed his blue balls on Texas with freezing temperatures, that number spiked to about 150 calls per day. And that's just in Houston. Greg Abbott has proven time and time again that his constituents are not his priority. And if he doesn't care about the humans in Texas, why on earth would he care about the dogs here? He doesn't. The Greg Reaper vetoed State Senate Bill 474. It was called the Safe Outdoor Dogs Act. Hmm. Sounds awful, doesn't it? Fucking Greg. It was aimed to provide greater protections for dogs against animal abuse. Veto! The bill had bipartisan support in the legislature, passing the House 83 to 32, and the Senate 28 to 3. Goofy Greg said Texans love their dogs, so it is no surprise that our statutes already protect them by outlawing true animal cruelty. Yes, there are statutes in place, but the statutes are so vague that law enforcement can't even enforce them. Greg is just radiating, I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too, energy, isn't he? The Safe Outdoor Dogs Act clarified all the vague language so that the statutes actually meant something and would finally be enforceable. It provided a cleanup of basic standards for restraining dogs and would have protected dogs left outside in very hot or very cold temperatures. It gave exact definitions of adequate shelter, collars, harnesses, and what's acceptable for the well-being of these living creatures. The normal body temperature for dogs is between 101 and 102.5 degrees. That's way higher than the average 98.6 for humans. If you're hot, which we fucking are, they're even hotter. 
Leaving them chained outside to a stake in the ground and the broiling sun is torture. It shouldn't be allowed. But then again, a hot dog doesn't affect Gregory Wayne Abbott, but angry voters sure will. In the summer, temperatures inside a vehicle can rise rapidly. On a summer day in the mid to high 80s, the temperature inside a car, even with the windows cracked, can reach 102 degrees within minutes. And after half an hour, it'll be 120 degrees in the car. Your pet in a hot car may suffer irreversible organ damage or die. Dogs are at particular risk for heat stroke if they're old, very young, overweight, or have heart and respiratory disease. Some breeds of dogs, like boxers, pugs, or basically anything with short scrunched muzzles, struggle to breathe in extreme heat. Several sheriffs, law enforcement, and animal control officers express their disappointment over Abbott's veto. Sounds like bipartisan agreement that Greg Abbott sucks. Asshat Abbott said Texas was not a place for that kind of micromanaging. I'm not allowed to use my fucking coffee pot and I have to set my thermostat to sauna before I go to bed. What do you mean Texas ain't a place for micromanaging? You're telling teachers they can't teach critical race theory, cruise ships can't ask for vaccine passports, and you're letting politicians decide whether or not public school students can wear face masks during a global health crisis. Abbott and his pals want to throw homeless people in jail for sleeping outside and keep them there if they can't pay their fines, which they can't. And don't even get me started on how you micromanage the minge. You want to force women to keep buns in their oven but forbid us from using our actual ovens. You're a micromanager, Greg. You've got your religion in my friend's vaginas and your finger on my thermostat. It's not cute. Greg's stance is clear. He hates homeless rights, voting rights, women's rights, dogs' rights, and I could keep going. But he loves people here being able to carry as many guns in public as they want without a permit. So let's make our stance clear in 2022 by voting blue. See you later, Greg. I want everybody to have a great fucking day unless you're voting for Greg Abbott.